Hi guys, it's me, Grandma Lily. It's time for story time with Grandma Lily. I hope you all had a great day. It was kind of a little bit of a weird weekend, so we had a little bit of a hiccup with the YouTube channel and we missed a couple of days. So, um, and we had to switch a couple of things around. Um, but we are here today, and even though it's Monday and yesterday was Father's Day, we are here today to say hi to all of the dads and the granddads and the godfathers and the uncles and the moms and the mo grandmoms and the godmoms and the aunts and the friends and everybody that takes care of children or even adults. And so we wish you all a happy Father's Day. And today we are going to have two books. Now today was a hot day. We, we, let, I let, we ran in the sprinkler and oh, it was so hot. Very, very hot day. But that's okay because this, it was a beautiful day. It was a nice Monday and I was off from work and I played with my grandchildren and tomorrow is going to be another great day. And so I hope you guys had a wonderful day too. And I hope for most of you, school is pretty much over. So in the meantime, we are going to read um, two very special books today. One of them, as I said, it is Pride Month. And because it's Pride Month, we are always going to be looking at something that helps us celebrate who we are and, and how happy we are with our lives and with the people in our lives and how much we love them. And sometimes I got, um, I've told you that I've gotten books that are made of board and that is because you can read these books to babies and they can hold them and they won't rip the pages and that's great because these are some great books to read to babies so we are going to read a book by Leslie Newman today um, called Daddy Papa and Me and that is by Leslie Newman and that is for Pride Month and also today because we are going to we're going to have um, a book about again being yourself we have a book called I Love My Hair, and I'm so excited to read this book because my granddaughter's hair looks like this. Oh, it looked like this yesterday. I think she was getting a cut today. But th I, this is called I Love My Hair, and it is by, uh, I'm gonna have to, I'm not sure who this is from. Oh, it is by Natasha Anastasia Tarpley. I can't read it over here because of the, the code. Um, and illustrated by E.B. Lewis. So we're going to read those two books and they're both board books and they're both celebrating who you are. And I'm very excited to read them. So go get your blanket and your stuffies. In the meantime, hello, Elijah. And hello, Jordan. I love you. I hope mommy bought you ice cream. Um, hello, Kylie Rose. And I love you very much. And hello to Serenity. I was very happy to see you yesterday and I can't wait for your birthday. Okay, so here we go with Daddy, Papa, and me by Leslie Newman, illustrated by Carol Thompson. So I, I don't know which one is daddy and which one was pa is papa, but I bet we're gonna find out. Who wants to play with me today? I do, daddy and papa say. Looks like they're washing the dishes and I don't know what it looks like they're doing here, that I, but they're doing chores. You do chores at home, right? So Daddy, oh here we, now we're gonna find out. Daddy wears a shiny crown. Papa dresses like a clown. Do you ever play dress up with your with your friends and your and the grown-ups in your life? It's funny, isn't it? Daddy's plane goes zoom, zoom, zoom. Papa's car goes vroom, vroom, vroom. Daddy helps me paint the sky. Papa helps me bake a pie. Daddy and I both strum, strum, strum. They're playing the guitar. Papa and I both drum, drum, drum. Daddy shows me how to sew. Papa shows me how to throw. Daddy brews a pot of tea. Papa pours for Bear and me. Having a tea party with the bear. Does anybody need a rest? Daddy and Papa say yes, yes, yes. Now Daddy and Papa are tucked in tight. I kiss them both and say night, night. 
Wasn't that a fun book, guys? Like, look at look at that. They have all they put on different. They one wears a crown and one dresses with a funny nose like a clown, and then one of them can paint and the other one teaches how to bake. And this is really cool. One of them teaches his it teaches how to daddy teaches how to sew and papa shows him how to throw isn't that awesome so he gets to learn all of those things in his family with daddy papa and me and this is a board book so you can get it for your little brother or your little sister or for a baby in your life and it's a very nice it's a cool book and it is a book of excellence and i personally think so now we are going to read i love my hair I Love My Hair is by Natasha Anastasia Tarpley, and it's written in 1998, and it's illustrated by E.B. Lewis. Every night before I go to bed, Mama combs my hair. I sit between her knees, resting my elbows on her thighs like pillows. Mama is always gentle. She rubs coconut oil along my scalp and slowly pulls the comb through my hair, but sometimes it still hurts. When Mama gets to especially tangled places, I try my hardest not to cry, sucking in my breath and pressing my hands together until they're red. Look at her, she's cool. Sometimes I used to do that when I was little and my mom had to pull a band-aid off of a boo-boo. But a few tears always managed to squeeze out. Mama, stop, I cry when I can't stand the comb tugging at my hair any longer. Mama puts the comb down and rubs my hurting places. Then she leans in close to me like she has a big secret to tell. Do you know why you're so lucky to have this head of hair, Kiana? She asks. I shake my head. No, because it's beautiful and you can wear it in any style you choose. I can spin your hair into fine, soft yarn, just like our grandmothers did at their spinning wheels and weave it into a puffy little bun. Or I can part your hair into straight lines and plant rows of braids along your scalp, the way we plant seeds in our garden, and wait and watch for them to grow. In the morning, before we walk to the store, Mama adds colorful beads to the ends of my braids. The beads click to the rhythm of my walk, helping me remember what we're going to buy. Tap, tap. Clicky clacky milk, bread, peanut butter. That's pretty cool. When I was little, they had these little things that you put ponytails and they had little balls on them and they clacked around, but you could only do two because I didn't have curly hair. Folks on the street look at me and smile as I dance along to the tap tap clicky clacky music my hair makes just for me. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's like you have your own little band when you're walking around. Some days, I just let my hair be free to do what it wants to, to go any, any which way it pleases. Then my hair surrounds my head like a globe. This is my Afro style. I love my hair because it is as thick as a forest, soft as cotton candy, and curly as a vine winding upward, reaching the sky and climbing toward outer space. Wow. Today I'm wearing it in my favorite style of all. Two ponytails that stick out on either side of my head and flap in the air like a pair of wings. One of these days I might just take off and fly. So there you go, guys. Those are our two books for today, Daddy, Papa, and Me, and I Love My Hair. 
Those are very good books about being who you are and loving who you are. Some people have curly hair and they can straighten it or they can let it go and it's curly. Some people have straight hair and if they want it to curl, they have to curl it, but if they leave it alone, it's straight. People have different color hair. People wear their hair differently. Some people have long hair. Some people have short hair. And the great thing about hair, here's the awesome thing about hair. No matter what you do to it, it will always grow back. So if you cut it all off and you don't like it, you wait and it grows back. If you color it the wrong color and you don't like it, you wait and it grows back. You can, you'll always get new hair. So everybody, you have a wonderful day. Tomorrow, we're gonna hear about what happens when crayons get angry. Hmm. I will see you tomorrow. I hope that you have a wonderful day tomorrow and don't forget, Grandma Lily loves you. Bye-bye.